this is the fourth out of the five videos we're using to start this channel all aimed at getting a, an AI career sorted if you're interested or just want to experiment in Raspberry Pis um, or uh, on a virtual machines uh, on your own laptop so <coughs> each one uses Vagrant as infrastructure's code to build um, stepping stones uh, and we're very much cattle v pet so if we use infrastructure's code we don't have to manually do this and that and that and then it becomes a machine you care for or a pet it's like cattle you can just plonk it up build it up run it you can have run it on multiple machines um, and this video specifically we're going to run deep seek we're going to run it on the on the mac locally but more more importantly we're going to run it on a raspberry pi um, or a virtual machine and that way we can have lots of various models running together and we can learn to start to use orchestration in a future video where we can have different models doing different things and chatting them all together so yeah any comments you got or you want the format change of that just, just shout so we've just done a peppermint which is called login system video a wordpress which is a blogging system and we've had a look at google shop which is just multiple docker containers so this one we're going to install the DeepSeek llm uh, and the next one we're going to do any in the ai notation so obviously the llm if we can run an llm locally and then we can run the automation for it we could probably aim to run lots more models uh, and then we'll get the videos and we'll tie them together in a book or a blog if anyone's interested so the plan for this video is to run an apple silicon i'm in an m1 macbook here so i'm going to install lm studio and DeepSeek. And we're going to run the model locally on the desktop um, and that means your information isn't going to china it where deep seek originates it just the model runs locally the the and the, the detail we've caught just stays contained locally and then below we can either run it on a raspberry pi or we can run it on a virtual machine um, much as we've done before in, in the previous lessons so <clears throat> i think it's time to to jump out of PowerPoint and uh, or a uh, keynote as it is because we're on a Mac and go to look at so we've got LM Studio AI so we can download for the Mac and um, we'll probably fast forward a lot of this but LM Studio is a, a tool for running models we'll, uh, we'll just download this we'll get it running uh, and then then we'll keep things going. Uh, just as soon as possible. Uh, I'm going to install it now. So this is it. So let's go and get my first LLM. We'll get deep sea. And again, we'll probably pause the video while this downloads. Okay, that took, that's taken the best part of 10 minutes. Um, so the download's nearly complete. Um, and we're looking forward to running DeepSeek R1 Distilled. Let's go down and start new chat. Let's see if it works. So this is the same as like calling OpenAI. Um, why is the sky blue, which is one of the default? Oh, I forgot to load the model. Why is the sky blue? So there we go, we've got deep seek, it's the default question. Alright, close that off, get that out of the way. 
So it, take, it takes a while, um, but that's fine. We could have delivered. We've we've done the seven billion model. If we downloaded the one billion model, it would have been a lot faster. But it's got less information, so it's it's the trade off of everything. And obviously, maybe it's gone slow because it's his first time. So this is running at local, no information goes to anyone. If you want a secure environment, you can just download LM Studio, download whichever model you're wanting. So in this case, DeepSeek 7 billion, and you can ask it questions. If you download the, the 1 billion, it'll be faster. And on the Raspberry Pi, it's the 1.5 billion model we're going to download. Because um, the Raspberry Pi can't manage the 7 billion, although there is a 16 gig Raspberry Pi out now, so that would manage it fine. As you can see, we're using 4 gig of RAM and only 4% of CPU. That looks like a, a very good answer. So there's no need to ever pay OpenAI anymore. Now you've got DeepSeek running on your laptop, um, I'll, or, or any of the other vendors. So I, I will quit this now and get back to the PowerPoint. So So what we've done is we've got LM Studio and uh, the model running with DeepSeek running on the Apple Silicon Mac. And now on the virtual machine, we're going to have um, the usual <coughs> iTerm Vagrant um, and the provider. And then we're going to, instead of Docker this time, we're, we're going to run uh, Olama. And we're going to create an Alama configuration file and we're going to install the DeepSeek model. This is it in better detail. Um, so this is the configuration file, very similar to the previous three videos. Um, so we install Ubuntu as the operating system, VMware Fusion as the provider. Again, we're giving it 4 gig of RAM, two CPUs, so a quarter of my MacBook Air that I'm running on, the M1 MacBook Air. Uh, vagrants disable chanting between the VM and the Mac. We're going to give it the IP address of 192.168.1.253 because my network at home is 192.168.1. Um, <coughs> and then in the shell is the command you would run if you're running this on a Raspberry Pi or if you want to automate this part of the VM, we do it. So, sudo app update just updates the config. It's commented out the patch and everything because we're only going to run the environment for half an hour. Um, we disable the firewall to stop that getting in the way and we disable our farmer to stop it getting in the way. Because they're too complicated for just now. The next two lines disable um, swap so that if we run out of memory the machine crashes rather than trying to, to pad out things. And then <coughs> the, I just use a uh, thing in my host file for other things. So the command, so what we're doing now is we're basically installing Olama. So the curl command's like a web browser effectively. It's um, fetching a file, the install file from Olama's website and then running it. And then we're going to cat the configuration file. This is the configuration file we've got. Um, and it's basically the default one. No real changes apart from the environment command that Olama host 0000. zero, zero, zero that allows it to listen on every NIC. So the virtual machine is, so rather than having it only in the local host, that means we can output it to 192.168.1.253 that we've set up. So everyth everything we do. Um, <coughs> yet, and then on the install, there, there's a, an extra stop and start, and that's to pick up the 0000, zero, zero, zero setting. <coughs> 
Right, so I'll skip over to the Raspberry Pi. Oh, no, I can't. I've got to escape. Right. This is the virtual machine. Again, type sky blue. So let's type a different question. And because this is the 1.5 billion, um, So this is a JSON file. This is run on my my uh, Apple Mac, and it's calling the virtual machine on one nine two one six eight one dot two fifty three. Olama, the configuration is to listen and port eleven four three four, and then there's the API. So <coughs> we're using an API interface, and then you can see, ooh, then you can see it's genuine. It's asked about grass and stuff like that. Let's go back. <clears throat> so what we've done is we've got it written running on a Raspberry Pi. <clears throat> but what we so what we've got is we've got different cloud providers. So we've got AWS, we've got uh, Azure, and we've got Google Cloud. So what we've got is EC2 virtual machine compute engine. So we we could run um, a Llama. On, on a virtual machine in the cloud if we needed more horsepower. Where we're going to go to is, if we had that run in the cloud 24 seven, that's going to cost a lot of money. Whereas cloud run, Fargate and container instances, if we can package things in a container, we only process it while it's calling. So if you get 10 calls a day, we only need about 20, you know, each of these 10 calls might only need two minutes. So you're only paying for two out, two minutes of compute a day on 24-7. Um, <clears throat> and they've also got um, AI tools. Um, so Vertex AI is Google's tool. Microsoft's got Labs. And uh, uh, AWS has got SageMaker. And then <clears throat> what we'll probably do to be more grown up um, when we've got lots of models is we've got API gateways. So API 6 is something that we could run in the Raspberry Pi. Apogee's Google's version. Uh, API Manager is Azure's version and API Gateway is AWS. But effectively, what we've got here is we can run it on a, on a virtual machine in the cloud. We're going to get to the stage that we can run it in a, in a, in a per second container. So we've done containers in the other few videos. We've got the AI platforms that are relevant for each one. And we've got AI Gateways, which uh, lets us do lots of build models together so <clears throat> what we've got here is we've got the, the models on the right hand side and we can do orchestration with Langchain, Langgraph or NAN, the next video is going to be on NAN um, but what we could do is we could have an API gateway so we're using API 6 in theory which can do the authentication and authorization we don't need to worry about that just now but it can call to models that we're running internally, like DeepSeek, any hug and face model, Claude or Llama. So we could have these in the machine. So rather than, and then we can also call out to OpenAI or Eleven Labs or Anthrop Anthropic. So you, so you could be paying money to call an an external API, or you could host it yourself internally, like we've done with DeepSeek, and not pay any money other than the compute costs running that. There is. <coughs> and the three minions at the bottom, there is something called Minions S, which is coming out that's going to allow us to um, do clever things with calling internal and external stuff to maybe drop 95% of the cost of models or keep stuff privacy. So we pr process stuff privately, internally, and uh, just put for the high quality stuff, call out to OpenAI, etc. And on the left hand side, what we've got is we corporate data, data. so you, the, a company might have all its data in Databricks. If it's a Google platform, it might be in Cloud Storage, BigQuery, and Bigtable. Um, if it's Azure, it might have everything in Microsoft Fabric. And if it's AWS, we might have the AWS equivalent. So um, <coughs> in, a, in, a, in a big environment, we, we might, rather than just do one call at a time, we might just get this to process all the data. 
that we've got in an organisation to organise it to make things searchable and we can build it up so a chatbot knows to how, how your processes are, etc. Thank you very much.